One of the greatest abilities a teammate can have is the ability to clearly, concisely, and quickly speak their thoughts. After all, the essence of teamwork is communication. Communication is one of those abilities that doesn't really require any hand-eye coordination or fast reaction speed like it does with aiming and movement, but it can win or lose just as many rounds. As a player and a coach, I've seen a ridiculous amount of mistakes that could have been avoided if only there were a better choice of words and timing. And just how like aiming and movement can be practiced, so can the skills of communication. I think there are three levels or three tiers of communication. The first level is being able to communicate what you're doing, what you see, and what you're going to do. Things like, I'll defend ramp room, or three rushing out halls, or I'll rotate middle and watch the cross. Basically all individual stuff. The second level is communicating what you're doing and coordinating with another teammate. Things like, you rush ladder while I'll cover your cat, or get ready to peek after my flash. The third level, and the most difficult level, is communicating on behalf of the entire team. This is the level required to be an in-game leader, someone who needs to be aware of what all their teammates are doing, what positions they're in, and what's possible, so they can communicate effectively what the overall plan and strategy is. I'm going to switch to Counter-Strike now and show you some in-game communication drills. Okay, so before I leave T-Spawn, I'm going to smoke off window. And then I'm going to take top mid. When that smoke blows, I'm going to flash above these boxes and take it. Smoke just blew, flashing, taking mid. Okay, I'm going to work my way down con. And clear these close angles here. I'm going to molly off cat and then take con. I'm going to clear, clear these close jungle angles. I'm going to smoke jungle and then work my way up the stairs. I'm going to molly underneath porch, wait for it to blow. I'm going to re-molly again, I missed it. And after that, I'm going to smoke top con, and then work my way to site. I'm going to clear T-ramp, walk towards back triple. Once I clear CT, I'm going to plant behind triple. And then I'm going to take CT spawn after this. Flashing. Okay, so hopefully you get an idea here of how to run this level one communication practice drill. Again, you're, you're focusing on communicating what you're doing, what you see, and what you're about to do, all individual based stuff. And it's like a skill that you need to practice like anything else, else in CS, like aim or movement, because it, it's not natural to play and communicate at the same time because while you're playing one part of your brain is is focusing on the the mechanics of the game um, you know hand-eye coordination and reacting while your communication side of your brain is it's a whole nother part of your brain that you need to access and be able to use and multitask with your me mechanic side so it's um, if, if you're having issues with this I highly recommend um, practicing it and the more you do it, the better you'll get. Okay, so to do the level two communication drill, this is where you're communicating your individual stuff, but also working in cohesion with another teammate. So the ideal way to do this is you and a friend join a server, join the same team, and take turns each round where one person is the leader and making the calls and the other person is playing reactionary. Um, I don't have a teammate with me right now, but what I'll do is add a bot and then pretend um, that he's a real life teammate and show you the concept of the drill. Okay, so here we go. We've got Jerry. We've got Jerry entering with the Negev here. Jerry, why don't you clear T ramp? I'm gonna flash over for you. Okay. I'm gonna smoke top jungle here as you clear sight. Alright, I'm gonna clear under, it's clear. Why don't you take CT spawn and then I'll plant for you, playing triple. Okay, you're gonna clear CT. I wanna play with you, let's play together. 
Okay, you play ticket booth. I'm gonna play CT. And when you get contact, you get first contact, you play bomb. I watch CT. Flashing. Alright. So hopefully you get the, the concept here of the level two. Um you're for, for that particular round, well obviously I'm the <laughs> I'm guiding the round, I'm the one talking. Um, unfortunately, you don't hear a back and forth dialogue that I would normally have with a teammate, but hopefully you get the concept of the, the drill here. Um, and for anyone that does plan on doing this, what I would do is one of you that's guiding the round, throw some uh, wrenches in there as you're doing the drill. Like, you know, tell your teammate to, to smoke some random spot and see how fast they can react and just play games with each other because you know, and in, in, when you're playing the game and there's a lot of action and you have to play uh, reactionary based with you know fast reactions and being able to play for teams communication, um, throwing those little wrenches in there makes it fun and it just keeps each other on each other's toes. So the, the third level of communication, uh, it, it's the toughest because you've got to be able to communicate what you're doing and on behalf of everyone else in the team. And in order to have that kind of communication skill, you need to have the awareness of being able to know what positions all your teammates are in, what's possible, you know, what's dangerous for them, and just having a clear image in your mind of how you need to communicate depending on your teammates' positions um, to create a strategy that's gonna win the round. So, Anyone that has this level three type of skill, it's a fantastic ability to have, must have for an in-game leader or a captain. And I think if any player has attained this ability to, to have, you know, communicate to everyone on the team, just one of those very valuable skill sets that that you know world-class teammates have. So you know, again, it just it works up in progression. You've got to be able to start with level one and talk about the basics of everything you're doing as an individual, and then work your way up to a teammate, then maybe two teammates, then eventually a full team.